All right, guys, it's US Open week and EA Sports PGA Tour has added LA Country Club into the game. So we're going to check it out here in a video right now. I don't think the rest of the update has actually gone live yet because if I go to tournaments, there's absolutely nothing. There's zero tournaments. I think maybe server side the tournament has to go or the update has to go live. So I think only the course is in here right now, but we're going to play it. The Los Angeles Country Club right here. And now I'm going to play it with uh, with Dustin Johnson. So I actually played it with Brooks Kepka. I played Oak Hill last time. Uh, well, my first round on Oak Hill was br with Brooks Kepka, and he ended up winning. So I'm going to play with my boy Dustin and hopefully I can rub off on him winning another major championship, his third major championship. Let's play with low wins. Let's play with um, tournament conditions and let's jump in on Sunday pin position. So yeah, LA Country Club is in the game. It looks phenomenal from the screenshots that they posted and we're gonna check it out here together right now Well, I'll have a video um, maybe checking out the rest of the update later today or actually I think what I might do is I'll stream on kick so kick.com Slash the apex sound. I'll be checking out the update later today if it does eventually come out or tomorrow If uh, the server side update comes out tomorrow So yeah, make sure you're following me on kick kick.com slash the apex sound new streaming platform rivaling twitch, but with much better um splits for creators much more creator friendly i would say and seems to be gaining a lot of traction so it's super easy to create an account and um it's a it's a cool new platform so check me out there and i will be streaming there at some point today or tomorrow all right follow me on instagram and stuff like that join the discord if you want to know when i go live so we're starting with a pretty reachable par five here at la country club let's see if we can bomb one down the middle of this narrow narrow fairway here so i want to be aiming just right at that pin up there i think Wind is coming off the right. Beautiful skyline here. Let's see if Dustin Johnson can pump one down there, baby. That's a little bit out to the right. Now, I believe the rough is thick here at LA Country Club from what I've seen as well. But we shall see. All right. Into the rough. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. All right. So we have the hack shot. With the hack shot, hack shot comes out a lot more like a shot out of the rough actually would. So it's going to come out a little bit like a low bullet here. Um, and it's going to be really tough with that pin position. So I'm thinking here, the safe play might just be to play middle of the green and play a little bit of a high draw. And uh, I might even come back to a to a eight iron. No, I'm going to hit the seven iron. I'm going to hit the seven iron and just make sure I don't overswing it too much. Wow, that's fast. Three point one percent. That's going to be long, is it? That's actually not going to be too bad. That's not going to be a terrible shot. Pretty damn good. Dustin got a lot of height in that one there with the seven iron. I did play a big high draw. And uh, that is not half bad at all. Dustin Johnson, ya beast ya. Now, I think playing this course on Sim is going to be really, really tough. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, it clearly breaks hard right at the start, I would say. And then it's uphill towards the end, actually, which is interesting. So I'm going to say about, I'm going to go about 50 foot or so. And we're going to go with that and see if Dustin, wow, 3.6% underswing. Oops. That is not what I intended to do not terrible we've left it six foot short it was just a, a big underswingy putt there not at all what i wanted uh, to start today but we'll see if we can I, th I think there will be a lot of three putts here at uh, at the la country club but a, a really scorable opening hole here at la country club which is nice i always love when courses start with a nice par five dustin johnson buries it in there for a birdie on the first and that's quite a nice start here at la country club quite a nice start indeed let's go baby let's go it's a stunning course, um, scenery-wise, definitely. I don't know too much about this course, personally, but I, I've been learning a little bit about it this week, and we'll learn a lot more about it from playing the game. That's what I love about this game. Like, the courses play super realistic to how they do in real life, and um, you can learn a lot about the courses by playing the game, you know? So, Dustin Johnson's bomber drive here. Let's see if we can pump one down the middle of the fairway. A little bit underswingy, a little bit slow, but that should be fine. It's absolutely perfect. All right, let's see if we can start back-to-back -back birdies here, DJ. Let's get it. By the way, 20% off Rogue Energy using my code. The new flavor is out, uh, strawberry mango, and I have it for the first time right here, and it's glorious. It's a really nice flavor. I was just drinking it while I was doing my uh, my F123 career mode part one. By, if the, by the way, if you want to check it out, you can do. That will be on the channel a little later today, actually, I think. Um, but yeah. We got a busy day ahead of us. I got two F1 videos going up. I got this video going up. And then I'm going to be streaming on kick as well. So, yeah, we, we busy out here. That was a nice swing. Felt really good. Felt really good. Sit now. Sit now, DJ. What a shot. What a shot from Dustin Johnson. Can Dustin Johnson win the US Open? I believe he can. Yes, he can. 
But I'm gonna need to putt well. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to do here at LA Country Club. Let's see if Dustin can make the putt here. Well, I got a perfect backswing. Oh, slides by the edge. I just about didn't give it enough break, man. Oh, that's heartbreakingly close as well. Wow, you silly, silly bitch. Oh, I read it nearly perfectly. Just needed a touch, a touch more, a touch more, a hair more break. Oh, look at this hole. Look at that fairway. Oh, I think it's probably going to be a three wood. Kind of a maybe. Okay, we got a lot of undulations in the fairway. It's going to be interesting to kind of learn about this course before we actually have to play it. I think I might just bomb a driver down there, honestly. Because uh, I think it's actually the flattest part when you go way over these hills. If I hit a three wood, I think I'm more inclined to be a part of this. Like, this is going to kick right, no doubt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. 68 yards away. We'll kind of learn what the pros are dealing with a little bit here coming into US Open Week. But yeah, we can actually just about zoom in as well. So I'm going to go a little bit past this hole and just want it to spin. I don't want it to spin that much actually, so I'm not going to play too much of a high, high ball. A high ball in low, as Dustin would say. Dustin would never say that, but that was what they say here in Ireland. Spin now. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. Great shot there. 12 foot up the hill here for a birdie. Could be for three straight, but unfortunately not. So this is below at my feet, but I think it breaks back to the left here at the end. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. So Dustin, you're going to give this one a little, uh, little didgeridoo here. I was wrong. No. Oh, it did turn in at the end there, but it was fairly straight, I think. The putt was actually more straight than anything. It turned right at the start and then turned back to the left at the end. All right. One under through three. Not bad. We had a couple of opportunities. We really could have definitely been three under through three if I had the green grids on, but that'll be too easy, right? All right. Difficult little par three. And we know that there's a couple of really long par threes on this course as well, which we're going to see a little bit later on. This one uh, at 230 is probably one of the shortest par threes. <laughs> and there's a big elevation change here as well. So we've got to be careful. It's 217 to the front. I want to be playing this about 200 yards. I think. We'll see. And play a little bit of a fade coming off the left hand side. Good looking shot, I think. A little bit short. Way short. Wow. I thought that was further down the hill than it was, I guess. That was an awful shot. Wow. I hit that pretty well, too. I hit it really well. I was just clearly a, a club or two short. I can't believe it came up that short. Let's play a little bit of a flop from the waist area here with Dustin Johnson and try and put... Nah, see, I don't think this is enough, though. What about a long flop here? A little bit of a long flop from DJ. Let's try to put it close. Come on. Up and down for par. Oh, it went dead left on me. Went nowhere as well. Cock in hell. What is that? Cock in hell. That came up so short. I'm shocked. All right, it's below at our feet, and I think it breaks pretty much that way the entire time. It's nothing crazy, though, so I'll say I'm going to aim about here. Good putt. Just needed a little bit more. Good effort. Good effort, and we're going to be back to level par. Our first bogey here at LA Country Club, and that is not ideal. Not ideal at all, but that's okay. After really three solid holes at the start there we hit a good one there and it just wasn't enough club it was it was a, the wrong club choice all day long i was thinking it's 217 to the front i was hitting a 200 yard club i thought man, that would easily get onto the front at least but no it wasn't even close it was way short perfect drive dustin johnson bombs it right down the middle as we know he can do and that's an absolute launcher right there a launched driver. Look at that. And that looks like a pretty protected green with bunkers all around it there. 153 yards out. Let's see. Yeah, that is a tough green. Okay, 153 to the pin. Definitely want to be coming one club back to about the 148 club. Wind is with us. And it's slightly uphill, but nothing crazy that's gonna affect it too much, I think. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this full. 
That overswing could help us big time. Just moving a little bit right because the ball was below our feet. That's not bad. It's a good effort. Be putting through the shadows here, unfortunately. But not a bad shot at all. Let's see if we can... Ooh, this is a big breaker. Right to left. I feel like we've only had uphill putts, too. I'm going to go to about 22 foot. Underswung it big time. God, I've underswung a couple of putts now. I had a good line on that, I think. I had a good line on that if it had a little more pace. It might have just been high, but... Uh, it's a disappointment there. Okay, good par. A little bit of a disappointment with the putting so far, but uh, play has been solid, I'll say. It's been solid here, and this course is a, is a test, no doubt. It's a test. Oh, kill. Like, I I played it in the game, and I knew immediately it was going to be a, a big test for the players. This one is a... Is this a drivable par four, or do you kind of have to play it up and around? Can I go right at this, you think? Because it looks like it's a little bit of a dog leg, but if I can go right at this, I'm going to. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, yeah. 100%. I need to be... The only thing I need to be careful of here... Is the fact that it's an upslope before the green, so this is going to kill it. But I, I drivers too much, clearly. That's such a good shot. Please, I'm begging you to just be absolutely... No, it's too far. Oh, it's really downhill, huh? There's a lot further downhill than I thought. All right. Just had a little bit too much juice with the three wood. But not a bad leave at all, really. Big shot. Let's... Can't really see. This is a stupid bush, so I'm going to... Bring this back a little bit, and we're gonna hopefully put that close. Wow, the pick shot just ran out on me there a little bit. That's unlike the pick shot. That is not like the pick shot at all. But we have a good chance for a birdie. I think this is gonna be dead straight, because it's below my feet, but then it breaks back the other way, I feel like. I'm just gonna smash this in there. Oh, wow. It didn't. It broke out to the, out to the right. You silly little bitch. You silly little bitch. What a stupid par that is after being pretty much on the green in one. We walk off with a silly par. All right. Par three, two. Here's one of the... Oh. <laughs> this is the same length as the last hole. <laughs> I'm going to have to hit a bigger club than I did on the last hole. It's fucking uphill. It's like 320. It's a fucking par three. 319 it's playing oh my god that is disgusting <laughs> all right well let's see what it's all about then this is literally shorter than the last hole we just played that's crazy oh my god what a shot though be a hell of a hole to get my first hole in one on wouldn't it <laughs> all right a little too much club unfortunately we just had to realize that was gonna bounce through a little bit Greens are quite firm. All right, let's play a little bit of a spinner here, DJ. I think a spinner is going to be the correct shot type here. Watch this. Beautiful. Beautiful spinner. And that's going to be a great par. All things considered, that that feels... I feel like parring this one's almost going to be like a birdie. Is, is it really going to play up near, upwards of 300 yards during the tournament? Hardly. Like, dependent on pin position? I can't imagine. I thought it was like 290, people were saying. That's... 30 yards further right there. I doubt that somehow. All right, par five. Here we go. That's criminal of so. Like, that's going to be a... That hole is going to be playing over par all week long. But you get a kind of a scorable hole next, though. You get a 550-yard par five. Let's see if we can take advantage of that and get our first birdie since the first hole. Which was also a par five, no less. So, three 330 to run out of fairway here. Can I go down the right side, though? If I pump a driver up here with the power drive from DJ. I'm, I'm tempted. Let's do a big high fade, DJ. Let's do a big high fade onto this fairway down there. Boom! I'm going for it. Go on. Get up there. Look at that drive. Oh, yes! What a drive from Dustin Johnson. And we only have 163 yards left now. See? That is worth the risk there. Um, obviously, I doubt players will be doing that in real life because it's nearly 300 yards to get through there. Uh, but you leave yourself a pretty short one there if you do get it through. And DJ, the boss that he is, is going to have a bloody 9-iron coming in here on a par 5. 
I think that'll be a little bit harder to do in real life than we've just made it look there, though. I just get the feeling, you know? We're going to give ourselves an eagle chance, though. No doubt about it. Great eagle chance coming up here. 15 foot for eagle. Um, at worst, it's going to be a birdie. Let's see what we can do here. 1.2 degrees below. It's below, it's below, it's below. 15 foot. There we go. Good putt. Oh, come on! Oh, that is sickening right there. What a lip out. Lip out, Larry strikes into the heart. Okay. One under par. Bring me back to the days when it just went into the cup and they didn't have the proper lip outs, eh? <laughs> it's much better, but it's also... It's also heartbreaking. All right, this, this par three is only half the distance of the last one. <laughs> Literally half the distance. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, okay. No, it's playing one ninety. It's playing one ninety. Okay, pins up uh, up further up than it was in the, uh, in the little preview. Okay, one ninety six to the back. Two hundred and two to the back, rather. One eighty nine to that pin. It's uphill. I'm gonna hit this club. I'm gonna hit the seven iron with a little bit of a high fade coming off the left, and just try and get aggressive with this one. Try and go at it. That's overcutting, big time. Hit it fast, 2.7%. Not ideal at all. Come back down a little bit. Nope, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna be treacherous. That's gonna be treacherous. I almost wish that went off. This is gonna be horrible. I'm easily coming to 28 foot, easily. And it's breaking hard right to left as well, pretty much the entire way. I'm gonna say, yeah, 28 foot, something like that. This could be a vicious downhill putt, and I'm aiming way up here as well. It's going to break heavy, I think. And right at the start, it's going to break really heavy. Yeah, look at that. I fucking knew I still wasn't giving it enough. Wow. Wow. That is a treacherous putt there. Horrible putt. 11 foot for birdie. Or for par, rather. What am I talking about? Uh, Clearly below. Up the hill. It didn't turn that much. Didn't turn that much at all. Yeah, I just assumed, but it was the other half of the putt that really turned a lot, huh? That's a silly bogey, my friends. A silly, silly bogey. And a PBFU, no less. <laughs> we've bogeyed two par threes, and we've only the only par three we've parred is the 320-yard one. <laughs> uh, bogey two par threes and birdie two par fives. Level par front nine. And obviously, I haven't played this course before, so this is going to be the one that I'm not used to. The strawberry mango is fire, boys. All right, back nine. Can we get on the green here? 361. I think this is a layup. I'm going to hit an iron here. A little three iron. Wait, is Dustin's three iron the same fucking distance as his seven one, pretty much? Yeah, not far off it. All right, let's hit a little three wood down there. Or a three iron, rather. Yep, laser from Dustin Johnson. I think that's a safe play. Into the flat of the fairway as well, rather than having a big um, a big slope above our feet there. So we'll take that, good shot. Left ourselves a full wedge here. It's up the hill quite significantly, but that's okay. I'm gonna play a 52 degree wedge, put a little bit of spin on this and uh, a little bit of a high fade on this and just try and get it to stop up when it, when it does hit the green. That is slow. It's gonna be short. Big slow, it's not gonna be terrible, but Oh, fuck it. Had a little bit too much spin. All right. Not ideal there, my friends. Not ideal at all. I'm going to pitch this in. You can see there it's turning right to left, right at the top of this hill here. Right there. Beautiful pitch. Really nicely played. Just needed a little bit more juice. I underswung it by a touch too much. I was trying to underswing it, but not quite by that much. Usually I always miss those ones on the high side and I nearly missed it on the low side there. That did turn quite a bit more than it looked like. Ooh okay. 290 yard par three downhill. How the hell are you ever meant to stop this one? How in God's name are you meant to stop this one, man? That's crazy. Oh my shit in God. 280 it's playing. I mean, I'm clearly not hitting any more than a... Uh, it's 265 to the front. I'm going to hit the 254 club here. I'm going to put a big high fade on this. And I hope that that's going to be enough to carry over. If it's not, we're in trouble. Oh, 
Now fade. Keep fading. Keep fading. Keep fading, baby. Oh my god, what a shot. What a shot. Oh my word, what a fucking golf shot. Dustin Johnson takes care of that 280 yard par three like it's nothing. Come on, DJ. That's what we're cooking here at the LA Country Club. All right, that's how you birdie one of the one of the long par fours, par threes rather. 280 yards, birdie. Birdie, baby. We played the 320 yard and the 280 yard par three and one under there. The other two par threes we bogeyed. <laughs> Oh my god, what a shot that was. I was thinking we were going to get a heartbeat moment for a minute when that was in midair. But a 380 yard par 4 to, to follow up the 280 yard par 3. Let's see if we can um, if we can go back to back birdies here. It would be mega. Uh, what is it to the... I think I'm going to hit a 3 wood here. Make sure we don't go through the fairway. I'm not sure we would anyway because it's quite significantly uphill here. But I want to make sure. No, we definitely would have. We definitely would have if we had driver. We would have gone through the fairway. Unless we hit like a big draw there, which you definitely can do. But I'd rather just lay up to 120 yards rather than trying to take that tree on there. I think that's the smart play here. Now, 132 is clearly too much. Uh, what is it? Pins about one yard on here. So we need to be careful about this one. I am going to hit the 126 and try and just spin it back a little bit. Sit. Sit! Oh... God, we're on fire. We're on fire now at the LA Country Club. We've put two shots in a row to four foot two inches with our approaches. Bloody hell, mate. Dustin Johnson's lighting up LA Country Club. And could he do this in real life and win a major championship? It's possible. It's possible. Back to back birdies here at the LA Country Club for the very first time in my EA Sports PGA Tour career. Big, long downhill par four here to follow up that short par four this is over 500 yards only about 130 or 130 yards longer than the last par four which is crazy all right do we hit the power drive uh, i'm not even gonna bother i'm just gonna hit the normal drive i'd rather be accurate and in the fairway here to be honest yeah beautiful dustin come on baby that's what we're cooking out here dustin how about three birdies in a row how about it We've caught fire now on Sim here. It's what you like to see. New course alert. And we're dispatching of it nicely. Uh, I don't want to hit the finesse, I don't think. Let's see what this is. 180 club with an 8 iron. Perfect. I didn't hit your 8 iron, 180. Christ. That would be fun. Dustin must just have fun out there on the golf course, you know? And that's a golf shot. Sit. Oh my god, no way we're on this on this kind of form right here. We haven't hit a shot outside of 10 foot and three holes. Bloody hell, son. Dustin's tempo just matches with me really nicely, actually. This is going to be a big uphill putt here, though. This is quite significantly uphill for such a short putt. No, oh, that... Oh, <laughs> look at the turn on that one, too. We had to have a lot more uh, pace on that one to hold that line, but Jesus Christ, did that turn... Like a motherfucker right there. See, that nearly even missed. That's on a slope. That's a cruel pin position there, I'll tell you that much. An absolutely cruel pin position. Par 5, 623 yards. That is a long one. Is it downhill enough to be able to get there in two with Dustin Johnson, though? Potentially, yes. Or will it be a, a layup? Let's see. If, over those bunkers, what is it to carry those bunkers? I think we can carry those bunkers. With Dustin, I think we can carry those bunkers with a power drive. Anyone else, I would say no, but I think with Dustin, we can. So what do I want to be aiming at? I want to be aiming at the left, the middle bunker, I think, is the one. I mean, I've just absolutely tattooed it. I have tattooed it. If you can't get there in two now, then nobody can, because that was an absolutely monstrous drive from Dustin Johnson. He's mashed it to 262, and we can get there in two, no doubt about it, but is it worth it? It's a, it's a quite a long green, so I would say it is worth it. That's clearly too much, though, and I feel like that's too much as well. So what is it to the front of the green? It's 257 to the front on that side, but this is definitely... Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hit the 7 wood here. I'm gonna hit the 7 wood and hopefully give ourselves an eagle chance here. Tempo's been really good, so let's just stay on it. That's slow. Oh, it's fast, but it was actually underswingy. 
That's a bad golf shot. Stay there. Okay. Gonna be a tough one from there. We're gonna have to probably play a little bit of a flop from 12 yards. Maybe I can pitch this close? Uh, I'm gonna have to land it on a slope here. Let me see the actual green there. Yeah, I wanna have a look at it. Okay. Wonderful shot, Dustin! You sick savage! Come on! What's up, baby? Two foot three inches for a birdie. For the third birdie in four holes, no less. This is magic here. Absolute magic. Beautiful stuff from Dustin Johnson. And we're tearing LA Country Club apart on the back nine here. Los Angeles is mine, baby! Los Angeles. Alright. Ooh, a nice little short pair of three now. Okay. They have a nice mixture, actually. Like, they have a 280, 290, 300. Um, and then they have a couple of, like, 170, 120 yard par threes as well, which I really appreciate these shorter ones. I think they're they're a lot of fun, actually. So, that pin position is deadly. That's clearly too much club. I'm thinking the 132 is not going to be enough. So maybe a little finesse, potentially. Uh, yeah, this could work. Been asked, like, playing around 137 with that wind. A little bit of a fade, because I need to be aware that this is going to have to fade from left to right to stop near this pin. Sit, 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 Okay. Got a little too aggressive, maybe, but not a bad shot whatsoever. Dustin loves it. Dustin loves it here at the U.S. Open. Let's see. Right, I'd say there's not much in this. Oh, it did take a little bit more than that. Wow. I didn't really see that much break. I saw right to left for sure, but not that much. Okay, I can see it here though. Fucking hell. All right. I'll be careful with this one. This, this actually breaks a lot. Yes, come on. Big pot. Big pot. No bogeys on the back nine. Let's try and have a solid scorecard. Three holes remaining here at the Los Angeles Country Club. I definitely think there's a few more scorable holes than you would likely get at a US Open. It all depends on how the greens play, of course, but I feel like there is quite a few scorable holes, but there also is treacherous ones. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. You have to be on top of your game at this kind of course. Top of your game. That's a bomb of a, of a driver right there as well. There's a few narrow fairways, no doubt. And the rough looks like it is going to be a problem. If we can put this close. 132. 136 to the back. I'm going to play a little bit of a high fade with this one. Try to get this close. Ah, it's shit. Just too fast, man. Alright, it's not honestly the end of the world, but not a very good shot from where we were. Wanted a bit, a bit closer than that. Downhill. It's below at our feet, but I feel like it breaks back the other way then, doesn't it? Yeah, right at the end here, it breaks back the other way. So I'm going to play this downhill. Quite clearly downhill. Breaks right right at the start and then breaks back to the left. I feel like it breaks the left a little bit heavier. Right now, it starts turning left. Hmm. Too much pace, I think. I don't think it would have turned that much anyway. It's definitely turning left, but it was more actually the other way, I think, than anything. All right, par. Two holes left. I think a three under would be a really solid first round here at this club. I think my first round at Oak Hill was like... I can't even remember. I think it was like either... It was somewhere between level par and three under as well, I think. Nothing too spectacular. What do we have here? 500... Wait, is this playing 550? No, 530. Okay. It's a pretty long. I'm going to hit the... I'm going to hit the power drive. Looks like a pretty wide open fairway and I've been driving it really well with Dustin. Dustin's just got that beastly driver, man. It's beautiful. And that is an absolutely perfect, perfect result. Let's go, baby. 350. Right, what do we got? 180 to the back. 8 iron in hand. I think I'm just going to take a little bit off this. Going to hit a little bit of a, a, little bit of a high cut. 8 iron, put this close, hopefully. Oh, it's over swingy though. 
A little too far, I think. Uh, sit. Oh, it's unlucky. That's a little unlucky there, I think. I swear that's like our first Miss Green. We've just been clocking him. Let's try and put this in the hole. A little Dr. Chapinski action to finish off the round. We still have one more hole after this, but... You know what I'm saying. All right, just a little bit sh on the short side, but good chip. Had the line. You know, clean up for a par now and move on to the last hole at three under par. Yes, well done. Come on, boys. This is a good, a good solid back nine. Front nine was a little bit, a little bit so-so, but the back nine has been really solid. We've only had two bogeys, and they were both on the front nine on par threes, and we've been really solid ever since. So 500 yard par four to finish here. And let's see if we can birdie it. Four under round would be real nice. I want to be aiming a little bit left of that grandstand for sure. Seems like a difficult one. Seems like a difficult hole, no doubt about it. Uh, okay. Good shot. Take that. We shall take that, baby. 193 left. Still a long hole, this one. So we got a longer second shot coming in. But for Dustin, that's just a bloody uh, seven iron. You know, it's nothing crazy. 201 to the back. A big, nice, high fade seven iron. Landed close to the pin. Tap in for birdie. How about it? A little bit on the overswingy side again, but that's much better this time. Sit. Good shot. Good shot. 11 foot for a closing birdie here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dustin, just breaks. It's slightly downhill. Breaks a decent amount, I would say. So let's just go ahead and tap it in for a closing bird here. Wow, still even way more than that. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of break. For a fucking 12-foot putt. That broke about six cups. Insanity. All right. Good round overall. Solid stuff. We're out. Uh, we're in in 32. And overall, it's a three under round after a level par front nine. Very good stuff and a really enjoyable, uh, really enjoyable round, actually. Uh, I, I, I like that course a lot. I think that's a tough one. It's going to be a fun one to play a couple of matches on. I'm hoping that this update has more than it shows right now. I'd be very disappointed if this if it was only the course and, uh, and a new seasonal sim tourney and that's it. I'm hoping that they have match play in online modes. Um, because that would be absolutely treacherous if they had if the, if that was it with the update it was just the course and nothing else because it does seem like they've been very quiet as of late you know they promised all this stuff and uh, we haven't got it yet we haven't got a time frame on it yet so i'm hoping 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 that there's more news with the patch notes so uh, i'll probably have a video out on it if there's not or if there is um but make sure to follow me on kick kick.com slash apex on that will be linked down in the description set up an account super easy and uh, we'll be streaming there at some point today or tomorrow see you next time pleasure to serve you all peace out